just checked into the Rosewood in London and we love Rosewood hotels. We always go to the Rose in Montecito and we stayed at the Rosewood in Paris. And we're just topping it off, trifecta. And this room is so, so nice. We got a suite. I feel like we indulged. We also booked most of it on points. <laughs> Let me show you guys this room tour because this room is gorgeous. Okay, so we have this hallway here. And then we have the first restroom. And then to this side, little living room area. I love that lamp so much. My sister loves her snacks. Also, the flowers are gorgeous. And then on this side, <laughs> we have the bedroom, which is, that bed looks so heavenly right now. I wore these shoes out today that I just got, which are so cute, but my feet are screaming. I don't know why, I still have it on. And then they have, this vanity situation with this Dyson and then this walk-in closet. Ooh, the bathroom's my favorite part. I mean, so good, I'm so excited. Look at this bath. I'm gonna take such a nice bath today. And then the shower. I'm so excited to be here, guys. I just got the cutest glasses here at Gentle Monster. It's one of my favorite places to get glasses because they fit Asian faces and Asian nose bridges. I was deciding between these and these. When I come shopping now, I get more excited to shop for Kira and more excited to shop for baby clothes. Okay, how cute. <laughs> Thank you. checked in I've literally just been laying here relaxing my toes and just scrolling on TikTok and this feels so amazing so I am here in London with All Saints and Revolve I came for their runway show That was only two, two days of work. So we ended up extending our trip because we were all the way out here in London. And this is the first time that we have traveled without Kira. So working up to this trip, I was really anxious and also really sad. So every time I would start talking about leaving her and like traveling, I would get just like so emotional. And even when we we're saying bye to her, I was like, smiling but i had tears in my eyes my mom was like hurry up she's like hurry up leave to the airport before you start crying she's eight months now i think which makes me feel a little bit be better because she is a little older and my parents are there or nanny is there and she's doing really really well my parents are sending us videos every day and she's just like so happy and i think at that age you don't really understand the concept of missing people so we were mindful of like, okay, we're not gonna FaceTime or anything like that because I think at that age, you're just so present in what you're doing that you don't even think about like, okay, like what's next or where is mom and dad? My mom said that once the babies are between like one and two, they start to have like realize a concept of like, okay, we're physically not there and like you miss your parents. She said it's easier to travel now. Really, 
realized now being a parent, it's very much to each their own. So I feel like the way that you choose to parent with your partner and raise your children is so different because I have best friends and the way that we parent are also really different, but to each their own. I'm like, I respect it, whatever works for you and your family. But Kel and I basically decided that it is important for us to spend quality time alone so traveling alone obviously just going on date nights and things like that but we love to travel and travel is like a big part of our relationship so again i think i had a hard time grappling the idea of traveling without kira but now that we're here i really do understand why it is so important for us like i really have been enjoying our time here although i miss her a lot i think this is just healthy and even my mom always said, even before I had Kira, she's like, the relationship that you have with Kellen as husband and wife comes first. Because I think it's, you know, happy parent, happy, I don't know, happy marriage, happy baby, but happy, happy, I think happy, happy mom, happy dad, happy baby. We're just like really being present and enjoying our time together. And it is really interesting too, because when we are, are with Kira, everything revolves around her schedule. and you just need to pack so much and I'm always thinking about her before me so I think this is really important now that we are here that we are putting time back into our relationship because I think at home I am quite an affectionate person but I think what I realized is that I give so much of that like affection and love and energy is always going towards Kira so it is nice now it's going to Kelly. So anyways, that was my little spiel because this is our first time traveling without her. But anyways, we were here for a job. We extended the trip. I do have to edit a job that's due. So I will probably just do that. It's 5.30. How cute is my wallpaper? Oh my goodness. Oh, literally makes me smile every time I open my phone. Anyways, we're gonna chill, get some room service. Oh, there we go, there's a light, there's a light. Look at this delicious, um, <laughs> all I see is your foot. I've been so into passion fruit. The seeds are so yummy. I feel like you don't ever really see passion fruit in LA. No. Yeah, but there's been a bunch here and the seeds are so good. You got a tripod and husband in one. <laughs> there's a double meaning there. Oh. That's sour. That's sweet and sour. But I love the seeds. Sour. I feel like this is the life of a procrastinator. I have a job due. It is a YouTube video and YouTube shorts, which I pretty much did 95% of the video before I came here because I was definitely not trying to spend my time working and editing. And I do both short form and long form. Man, long form, YouTube guys, a lot of work, a lot of respect. A lot of res I'm a YouTuber too, but a lot of respect to people that post so consistently and every week because it is literally so time consuming. I mean, I love doing it and I think it's by far one of the most like rewarding platforms for sure, but it's quite, quite time consuming. And I am basically putting like the last minute touches on a video, sending it out to the client, except for you know, this hotel is kind of slow internet. So I'm curious as to like how this video is even gonna export. We shall see. Okay, so I edit all my videos on Final Cut Pro on my desktop, but I back them up in a hard drive, and I don't think the videos are on the hard drive. Let's get fun ready for bed. So clearly my hair is disgusting, and all this trickles down onto my forehead and when I sleep, you know like your face is like all over the pillow and all this dirty hair gets on your pillow and then like you rub your face in it, etc, etc, gross, gross, gross. So I have been wearing a hair turban and this is a silk hair turban and it's actually not that uncomfortable. First night I wore it, I was like, oh my God, this is gonna be so uncomfortable, but I slept through the entire night really well. When I have really, really filthy hair like I do now, but even back at home, I don't wash my hair every day. And sometimes like even after I work out, but I don't end up washing my hair. I probably wash my hair honestly like every two to three days. 
and especially dependent on if I have product. I have loads of product right now and it's really dirty from the plane. So this hair turban is so nice and granted I've made a lot of new skin decisions. The biggest one being, which I will show you guys, this device that I started to use on my face. Well, I've started to use two devices very consistently. I feel like it's helped so much with my skin. Like it feels really hydrated. A lot of texture has gone away. I feel like a lot of fine lines have gone away. It also helps kind of like chisel my jawline. Also, whenever I unpack, I have to make sure all my labels are facing forward. This is something that I've always just done. I think it's just like nice to look at. I think it makes the experience better. <laughs> I'm starting to wear fragrance and I just travel with like these mini sizes. So I don't have to bring my full size. They're like sample sizes. I think this is like, I got this in like a discovery kit or something. And I always like to mix a really, really musky scent and offset it with floral. So I've been wearing this one, which is Oud Immortal from Byredo, and then mixing it with the La Tulipe. One of my favorite scents is from the Labo, and it's called Gayak, but like I love like a fresh musky kind of like scent, and then mixing it with like a floral. I feel like I get so many questions about these contact lenses that I get and I get my contact lenses from Desio and I love these colors because they look really natural so they're like tri-colors and I wear the shade Tender Hazel and I like wearing contacts. I feel like to me, I kind of see color contacts as like makeup. It really kind of like just accentuates the look. I think it's fun. Also, I need to order clear contacts too because I only have colored contacts and sometimes they do kind of like dry on my eyes, but I love the look of it. It's so fun. It's so cute. I feel like I've mentioned this before, but basically I got my brows microbladed very long ago. The shape is so dated. So after this trip, I am going to get them removed but it is like a process. So I didn't want to get it right before I came on like a brand trip because I'm not trying to look cray cray and you can't wear any makeup during the recovery process. I'm using this Beauty of Chosun Cleansing Balm. I've been very into K-Beauty again because I was basically using too many aggressive exfoliants and actives and I feel like just K-Beauty is very effective while being really, really gentle. I still have a lot of texture up here. It's like clogged sweat ducts or something. I'm not quite sure. I need to find like a good Darmana esthetician, but I've been very into K-Beauty and then sprinkling it with, you know, some luxury. <laughs> Like La Mer. I love La Mer. I think La Mer is such an experience. And I also think that La Mer products work really amazing. I love the La Mer Concentrate. I just started using this one, which is called the Lifting Firming Serum and their face oil. And I've been loving those too, but I'll show you my skincare routine. After I come out of the shower, I like to wash my face one more time with cleanser just because all of the conditioner like gets over our face and could leave a little bit of residue behind. So I like to do one more cleanse and also always finish with cold water to close your pores. Medicaid device. I have seen so many videos on this and I finally got it and I have to say this is one of my favorite things to use recently and I have seen such a difference with my skin and my texture. It's just so hydrated. Everything seems like it's a lot more smoother. My problem area is like my forehead and right here but like everywhere has gone so much smoother. So you basically use this device and what it's going to do is help your skin kind of soak up all the good skincare and everything you just did. So there's multiple levels. Level one. So I just like to use this in between products. My skin just drinks up all that goodness. And then I'm alternating right now between these two eye creams. This is the one from Neogen. And then this is the one from Beauty of Joseon. This one has ginseng and retinol. So I don't use it every day. And if I do, I use it in the evening. I've been liking this one too. 
I had really, really bad milia under my eyes because I was using the wrong kind of eye cream. So I basically had to switch over to more of a lightweight one instead of using a really, really heavy one. I used the pharmacy. I think it's like the Honey Halo one or something. It's super thick. It was too thick for my skin. It just gave me a bunch of milia, which is odd because I usually like their products, but I think my skin just reacted really odd to that one. And then I've been using this Metacube Collagen Jelly Cream. And this, first of all, this tub is ginormous. It's so big. And it's like this pretty little jello pink color but this is unlike anything i've used before because i feel like other kind of water type gels they're really really i guess watery and it feels almost milky but this one has so much it feels like a mousse like a hair mousse it's super thick and it has a really strong smell to it which at first I didn't really like because I like a lot of things that don't have fragrance, but now I have come around to actually liking the smell. But this is literally has so much balance. It's like thick jello. It feels like mousse. So I put a pretty thick layer on. And then I'm going to use this Medicube device just to get everything in. And I just like to wear a really, really thick layer before bed because it almost feels like a mask. Like the texture is quite thick. think of like luxury skincare and what is like so indulgent but i really really love is la mer i feel like everything is so experiential like all of their product feels so amazing and like so silky on your skin and it has like a tiniest bit of fragrance but it smells so good it just adds to the entire experience and then after every time i use it i do like wipe it down because you can see there's just like a layer of product on it and then while i still have oil and some slide and glide on my face i use this thing this is the reva carrot ray face roller and i swear this is like gua sha but i'm sure it has different effects i feel like gua sha is basically a lot for lymphatic drainage and it's good for like contouring but i think i've seen the most results using this and it's kind of easier because it's so simple you just roll it on your face you add a little bit of pressure and you can literally feel it when it goes down on your jaw, it just like tightens this area. I like to do my eyes and my little cheekbone area. I do my 11s like this. So I bring all my supplements with me when I travel. I brought my Ritual Essential Vitamins and in here I have my <laughs> Symbiotica Healthy Skin one and it basically has like hyaluronic acid and just things that are good for your skin. And I just put it in this little thing together. I brought my seed symbiotic. This is quite nice because seed sends you a travel vial. So I just put the exact amount that I need for this trip. I take my symbiotic in the morning on an empty stomach. And then I use these little stasher bags to pack my little pouches. So I brought my vitamin C, my symbiotica magnesium, and my super greens and i take this every day so at home i take my athletic greens but it's not really travel friendly unless you have little travel pouches so this is super easy so i just put this in a glass of water and take this with my seed and then after i eat something i will take my vitamin c my magnesium and then these supplements too i do take my hyaluronic one in the morning too y'all woke up earlier before me went to a meeting left this remain that's very sweet
What's up? We just got coffees at Ralph's. I got a strawberry matcha latte and it is literally so delicious. I wasn't expecting much. It was very yummy. Now we're just walking around. I was just contemplating. Touristy. Yeah, touristy. I love it. Locally. I love it. Locally. We were planning on going to some vintage shops in Portobello Road, but it is like 30 minutes away. So I think we're just going to stay in this area. travel to cold places i love wearing the uniqlo heat tech as my base layer it is literally so warm i do not know how they do this because it's not even that thick they have like different levels of it so they have one that's like really really lightweight and it's still heat tech i'm wearing that for the past two days and yesterday we passed by uniqlo so i had to go in and buy more heat tech it's so comfortable and they have really good cuts too so like it's a cute t-shirt like yesterday i just wore the heat tech by itself got two different sets in black one is like this ultra warm and then one is extra warm so it's quite chilly here and like you know london weather is being london weather so it's really gloomy and rainy and windy give me an umbrella it's london weather we're standing in line at the British Museum. It's very busy. I think everyone's at the museum today. Look at Kellen though. He's just soaking wet. The hotel offers umbrellas and he's like, no, I'm not gonna take an umbrella. Rainy day. Do the thing where you show the security card. Security card? The exits. <laughs> where are the exits at? It's giving a chic flight attendant. So this is our last day in London. It's 3.30 and we decided to come back to the hotel because it is so cold and rainy outside. And I feel like the other days, we really, really maximized our days. We pretty much did everything we wanted to do. I did want to go to a couple vintage shops, but I also feel like I did very good retail damage here. I feel like I bought enough, so I feel very satisfied. And now we are just gonna chill in this gorgeous room for the rest of the day in this dry, cozy room. We're at some room service right now. Excuse me, sir, have you checked in for your flight? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, have you checked in? You really are disgusting. Do you have your passport? <laughs> you really look at it. And I'm so excited to go home and secure now. So the plan is obviously because we're getting off the plane, we definitely need to do a full everything shower before we see her. So we can cuddle her and kiss her and hold her. Like I miss her so much, but I was really, really also good at trying to stay really present during this trip and not be like, oh, I wish she was here or I miss her so much, how is she doing? And, you know, I'm really proud. I feel like we did a really, really great job of being really present, really thoroughly enjoyed our time together. But this has been the first time we have been away from Kira for this long, but it was a really amazing trip. And you know, I feel like Kel and I got a chance to reconnect. There he is. Oh. 